Hello everyone, my name is Mike. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be covering my third round of the New York State Championship 2022. In today's game, we've got lots of different tactical ideas and sacrifices and more, so watch till the end. Alright, let's jump in the game. For round 3, I played White. My opponent's name is Eddie. He was 900 when we played in the tournament. Even though he is 500 rating points below my rating, let's not underestimate our opponents. Alright, let's go. e4, e5, knight c3, the Vienna. Knight f6, f4, the Vienna Gambit. And here, my opponent plays knight c6, which is already a blunder right off the bat. Because I, I can take, and if black takes back, I play d4 which forces the knight to either go here or here. Well, otherwise I'm gonna take it, right? So once the knight moves, I can play e5. And now suddenly the knight has to go back because it cannot go here, 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 or here. So it, it can only go back. And now I play knight f3 to prevent queen h5. And I have a fair lead in development and I just have a really good position. Bishop e4. Bishop c4, um, preparing to castle, knight e7, uh, knight g7, and now I play uh, knight to g5. Now apparently, uh, well first, knight g5 threatens to take on f7 both with the knight and the bishop, but uh, like for example in this position, if it was my turn, knight f7 would be probably better because um, it just literally traps the queen but bishop takes f7 also, is also really good because um, you can bring the queen in and you castle and this is really powerful apparently castling here was better because if something like d5 on passant takes and now knight to b5 and if the queen goes back, look at this. Bishop takes f7. If the king takes, you just have a double check and you win the queen. If the king doesn't take, the king is still really weak and white just has a massive advantage. But alright, let's go back to our original game. My opponent castles, and now I play queen h5. So I have three attackers on f7 but my opponent only has two defenders and i'm also i'm also threatening mates on h7 so this is already looking really bad for black h6 to defend mates knight takes rook takes and now queen takes the king moves out of check and now i castle this is gonna become a monstrous attack really soon once i bring all my pieces in all right, uh, knight g6. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to sh show you guys something. In this position, castling isn't even the best move. Uh, the best move is actually bishop takes h6. I mean, this is just this is just nasty. If you take check check and castles and. There is all sorts of mate threats here, and according to the engine, it's like mate in eight. Yeah, it's mate in a few moves. This is just nasty. But of course, I am a human, so I just castle, which is also fine. Knight g8, bishop d3, and now I'm threatening to get my queen into g6. And if I do manage to do that, then the mate on h7 is just unstoppable. Uh, knight to e e seven, and now look at this rook to f six. Um, the point is, if you take with the pawn, then well, it's just mate right away. If you take with the knight, well, yeah, that's what my opponent did. But let's say if you just play like a random move. Look at this, bishop takes h six once again. And you have mate threats here. If you take either way, there's mates, a mate here. And yeah, this is over. 
And lo look, if you take with the knight, sacrifice, take, mates. Which is, again, nasty. Rook f6, okay. My opponent took with his knight. I took back with my pawn. Once again, you can't take because mates. Queen g6, I mean, queen, uh, sorry, queen g8. Queen h5 and d5. At this point, I I play bishop takes h6 and nothing could be done to stop me. For example, if takes, then I take back. You're forced to block with your queen and this is mates. If something like queen h7, I could take with the bishop. The queen is pinned. The queen is pinned, so it cannot take the bishop. Well, even even if if it could, it will be very bad because um, I can take back with the pawn. Uh, king moves over, and this is mate. This is mate. So at this point, I think my opponent, I think Eddie also realized that there's nothing to be done anymore. I move my king. I mean bishop to F f8 queen h7 which is the only legal move and boom mates so this was a fairly quick game but still there are many different ideas and tactics to and lessons to learn from this game so eddie if you're somehow watching this hello shout out to you but that's about it that's round three thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in round four. Bye!